from a no stia woman was and uh, was jailed in Oakland. And I'm gonna show can you pull your sign down a little bit? It says Occupy Oakland on it. Occupy Oakland. So what's the name that you want to go by? I would like you to tell us about what happened to you in Oakland, why you were jailed, and what went on in the jail. Yeah, I went to jail at Oakland on January 28th. We was wrongfully kennelled. The police killed us in front of YMCA, they didn't let us go, and they took us all to jail, and it was crazy, they was beating people, and like, Did you see this yourself? Yeah, I was there. I was right in the middle of it. Did you get beat? Nuh-uh. Oh, alright. Why was that? Because you're so tall, or taller than every, everybody around you? Nah, it's like... I was just like, I've been doing this for a minute, and like, so I know like what to do and stuff, and I try to tell everybody else to follow and be safe and to stay like to make the safe decisions. And some people lag behind, and I try to keep everybody together. Okay, a, so you saw people getting the issue. Yeah, I'm a medic. You are. Yeah. Uh, so, what jail were you in where you saw this? What's the name of the jail? I was in Glen Dyer. Okay, it was in Santa Rita where a lot of people ended up. Yeah, I didn't go to Santa Rita. Glenn Dyer. Yeah. All right. And why did you get uh, put in jail? Why did this happen? Because the police wanted to kill us. And so when they killed us, it was just like they told us we, we were supposed to leave. And they never gave us a dispersal order. So they took us all to jail. And they you up. Yeah, they violated our First Amendment right. Yep. Okay, so this woman came up to us and asked you to tell people something very important to her. Do you want to say that? What you would, how you would answer her on camera? I can't speak for like the whole Occupy Oakland, sure, just for but yourself. I can speak for like myself. All right. And I am not violent. I always try to keep everything non violent. I'm a medic. I was personally escorting people out of the tear gas on January 28th and all these other Occupy events. And the police are very just cruel and stuff. And they always shoot the first shot. We always be non violent. The police always take us to the next level. Why do you think? The OPD is doing this. Because the Oakland Police Department have been like that for years and they are just no good. Do, do you think they know what they're doing? Yeah, they are militarized, they are a gang, they are like worse than the military, and it's crazy. Because a lot of people say they just don't know what to do. You're saying they do. They know what to do, they just do too much. And I think they're just like superheroes of the police department, but really, they're not even up upholding the laws and stuff they're supposed to do. And when I ask police officers about certain laws and stuff that I'd be violating when I'd be out in OGB Plaza, they can't even tell me the correct number or the correct law. They got a walkie-talkie it in. They don't even, they're not even educated. Yeah. They don't even know what's going on right now. So in a sense, they, that's true. They really don't know what they're doing according to your personal experience with them. Yeah, they are robots. They are ro- what does that mean? All they do is take orders. They don't have no feelings, no heart. All they do is take orders from their superior. Um, and do you mind identifying yourself? My name is Melvin Kelly. Melvin Kelly. Yeah. And you are a medic. And how many of these uh, uh, protests in Oakland have you been to? I've been to a, a few of them, a lot. Uh, five, six, all of them? Like ten. Ten. Yeah. And um, she knew who you were, this woman who, who asked you this question. How did she know who you were, aside from the fact that you're about six feet tall? Because I'm a very influential person, and I'm very nonviolent. A lot of people feel that they can compromise with me on that level that's from the area of Oakland, because I'm born and raised there, and I know how to communicate with almost anybody, because I'm diverse. All right, you're diverse, yeah. and you expect diversity. Yeah. You think the police should be to protect you and serve you? Yeah, yeah but the police are no good in Oakland. I can't speak for all police, but the OPD is no good. All right. Okay. That's you've said that. That's enough for this videographer. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, we are now going to march against police brutality on Friday, February 10th, 2012. We're in front of 101 Market right now, and this is where I met this gentleman and asked him to speak with me about what went on, with what he saw in Oakland. Thank you for your medic service and everything you're doing.